Plastic properties of rubber. A strip of rubber maintained at an absolute temperature T is fastened at one end to a peg. From its other end hangs a weight W. Assume the following simple microscopic model for the rubber band. It consists of a linked polymer chain of capital N segments joined end to end. Each segment has length A and can be oriented either parallel or anti-parallel to the vertical direction. Find an expression for the resultant mean length of the rubber band as a function of W. Neglect kinetic energies or weights of the segments themselves or any interaction between the segments. Okay, so as you can see here, this uh, uh, rubber band is hanging from the ceiling uh, from a peg and it's supporting a weight W. And uh, I have assumed that the distance between the ceiling and the floor is capital H. And I've called the length of the rubber band L0. And then I'm going to look at the effect of having a segment being parallel or uh, anti-parallel to the vertical direction. So uh, you can see that a segment uh, can be uh, pointing up like this. Uh, it can be pointing up or it can be pointing uh, down. So uh, we have two scenarios. It can be pointing up or it can be pointing uh, down. And when it points up, uh, we would have uh, a difference, a, a change in the length by minus a because each one has a length a. Uh, this would change the total length of the rubber band. Okay, so let the uh, length of the strip be L0. So I see that if a segment of the chain is parallel, this will have an effect of increasing L0 to L0 plus A. So it will be hanging vertically down and as a result the distance between the uh, the floor and the weight will be uh, h minus l0 will become h minus um, l0 minus a so it will come closer uh, to the ground if a segment is anti-parallel it will have an effect on the total length of the strip to make it L0 minus A and the distance between the floor and the weight H minus L0 will become H minus L0 plus A because it will be lifting up uh, from the floor a distance uh, H. The potential energy U potential energy is only due to the weight of the segment, uh, the, the weight of uh, the weight that is hanging, because I'm neglecting kinetic energies or weights of any of the segments themselves. So that's due to this statement. The potential energy only comes from uh, the weight W uh, that is going to have, uh, so weight is mg uh, so multiplied with the uh, distance from the floor uh, to the uh, center of mass of the uh, the weight so it's going to be w times so we have two possibilities w times h minus l0 minus a or w times h minus l0 plus a so two po uh, possible uh, energies okay so then uh, i i call it uh, plus uh, scenario when I have uh, the segment being parallel and anti-parallel I call it the minus scenario so let me um, label this this is the plus scenario this is the minus scenario because plus it's adding to the weight uh, to the length and minus it's subtracting from the length uh, then I have the probability 
of a segment uh, being parallel to the vertical direction so that the, the length increases is going to be uh, a constant c times e to the minus beta uh, the energy of the configuration where I have the segment parallel so that would be e to the minus beta w h minus l0 minus a when the segment is anti-parallel so that the length decreases it would be c times e to the minus beta w h minus l0 plus a so this would be the probability and p plus plus p minus is equal to 1 so for each segment I can have it either parallel or anti-parallel there are two possibilities because it's mentioned here it's either parallel or anti-parallel so this should be adding up to 1 therefore I find that uh, this constant C is 1 over the partition function e to the minus beta w h minus l0 minus a plus e to the minus beta w h minus l0 plus a so that will be the case for uh, c so what is the uh, mean length of a segment so li is the length of the ith segment of the chain so we can have either plus a or minus a so l bar would be uh, the length would be a uh, with probability plus and minus a with probability p minus so I would have for L bar uh, A times uh, P plus which is um, E to the minus beta W H minus L zero minus A uh, and then plus uh, or minus A E to the minus beta W h minus l0 plus a divided by the partition function which is e to the minus beta w h, z, h minus l0 minus a plus e to the minus beta w h minus l0 plus a so this would give me because e to the minus beta w h is the same everywhere uh, and so I can see that this is e to the minus beta w h minus l0 multiplied with a e to the minus beta uh, w uh, so I have minus a so it becomes plus a e to the uh, plus beta w a and then I have minus a e to the minus uh, beta w a uh, divided by uh, the same thing here uh, e to the minus beta w h minus l0 uh, multiplied with e to the beta w a plus e to the minus beta w a so these two will cancel and I will be left with a uh, e to the x minus e to the minus x divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x this is tangent hyperbolic x so this would be a times tangent hyperbolic uh, beta w a which is a times tangent hyperbolic w a divided by kt but what I'm supposed to find is the resultant mean length of the rubber band the resultant mean length of the rubber band the total length is I equals 1 to capital N Li so I have to look at the lengths of each segment and add them up so L bar will be equal to capital N times L bar because Li bar is equal to L bar 
it's the same uh, mean length per uh, segment. So this would be equal to n times a tangent hyperbolic w a divided by k t. So that would be the mean length of the strip. Okay, so uh, we have a strip of rubber uh, maintained at the absolute temperature T. It is fastened at one end to a peg and on the other end there is a weight hanging. We are neglecting the weight of the segments, neglecting the kinetic energy. So the only energy, mechanical energy in this configuration is due to the potential energy of the weight. And I'm assuming that the weight W is at a distance H minus L0 from the floor and L0 is the distance from the ceiling to the weight uh, and capital H is the distance between the ceiling and the floor. So if a segment is parallel it's, uh, to the vertical direction, it's pointing down, then I would have the length increased by an amount A. If it's anti-parallel, it's pointing in the opposite direction, the length would increase decrease to L0 minus A. So the, I, I am basically considering the potential energy of W uh, that is corresponding to these two scenarios. If the length L0 increases to L0 plus A, the potential energy would decrease because the weight would come closer to the ground. And uh, for the anti-parallel direction, I would have the opposite scenario. The potential energy would increase. So um, the probability of having the segment pointing parallel, uh, so it's pointing down, so that its length increases, is c times e to the minus beta w, h minus l0 minus a. So this is the one with lower energy. And p minus would be, again, c times e to the minus beta w, h minus l0 plus a. So the total uh, probability should be 1. I have normalization. So here the, I have obtained c is equal to 1 over partition function and uh, I can calculate the mean length of a segment by uh, looking at the two possibilities. It can be either a or minus a. a times p plus plus minus a times p minus and that gives me a tangent hyperbolic w a over k t and for the mean length of the total length of this uh, rubber band, I would need to calculate the contribution from each segment. And because the mean contribution from each segment is the same, it would be capital N times L bar. So the answer is NA tangent hyperbolic WA divided by KT.